thanks everyone for being here and thank you again to PVCC and, and uh, to the League of Women Voters for being involved. This is indeed a crucial election and I think it's about who's a fighter. If you like to pick up Senator Hurt's cadence, if you want the sort of talking points approach, if you want to hide from the tough issues, if you want someone who's not going to step up and do the things necessary to make America and Virginia strong again, then I suppose you can vote for Senator Hurt. He didn't step up with Governor McDonnell on a tough budget this year or with Governor Kane on a tough budget last year. He hasn't been willing to take a position on how to create jobs beyond things that are two or three words long. This has got to be our time in America. This has got to be our time to believe that we can still out compete the world. This is not our time to put our head in the sand. The American dream is crucial here, but how does that American dream look if you're cutting funding to education and not supporting early childhood development or not making college more affordable? If you're not standing up and supporting the small business lending fund and the 17 tax cuts for small business? I believe we've taken great steps to try to rebuild America's competitiveness. And we've got to get out of the mentality that says the right solutions are the ones that turn things around overnight. Instant gratification is part of what got us into this place. A greed and instant gratification culture in Washington among politics, politicians looking for symbolism instead of solutions. On Wall Street, people who were building an economy around speculation instead of building, making, and growing things. And even among homeowners and consumers. We have to start looking at the next great American decade and the next great American century because we can still out-invent the world and out-compete the world. But we can't do it with this approach of acting like we don't have problems or this approach that says let's look more like China if we just stick it to workers more, if we just stick it to the environment more, if we just act like these problems aren't there. But that's not what makes us great. We don't back down from a fight. And Senator Hurt, you can disagree with me, but don't disrespect me and suggest I'm getting pushed around by anyone because I stand back and fight in Washington. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please, please hold your applause. You and I know that the real power in Washington and Richmond is not the leaders of the two parties. It's the people that write the big checks. We've seen the over $400,000 coming into your campaign, possibly from overseas, and you're not even pushing back on that. This Ladies is a time. This is a deadly serious time to put America first, put Amer give that level playing field to American workers and American businesses. And I still know that we can outcompete the world in energy, in technology, in automotive. We are going to do that with the two out of every three new jobs coming from the small businesses. And we've cut their taxes. We've gotten a small business lending fund out. We've helped give them some of the advantages. And the facts just do come down that way. It's not okay to just deny the facts we need in the next two weeks. Voters to take this seriously. Look beyond whatever sources you have and look and test the facts and look at who's gone out to try to fight okay. for American jobs and Mr. competitiveness. Perillo, God your bless. Time is up. All right. Thank you very much for both of our candidates.